season two of Fortnite is just about over. But with that being said, that means season three is just around the corner with a brand new battle pass. And today we're going to be talking about all the skins that are going to be in it. Now, speaking of which, guys, if you think it would be awesome for Epic Games to award pretty much every player a battle pass for season three, leave a like on the video, but be fast. But yes, guys, we're going to be covering all of the different collaborations in season three, a bunch of skins that were already leaked and a ton more. But before we hop into it, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Over 80% of you are not subscribed, which is crazy. You're missing out. And also while you're at it, be sure to use my supporter creator code SIRS inside of the Fortnite item shop. And can't forget about the skin on last video. It was Renegade Raider. So here's a bunch of people that got that right. And this time around, let's go with this skin here. So comment down below if you know the name of it. And I'll leave hearts on a bunch of the ones that get that right. But all right, guys, let's hop into it here with the basic info first. Like, let's get the basic stuff out of the way before we hop into the more specific skins and reveals for different things about the season three battle pass but like first things first here when is the new battle pass going to be released well if we take a look at the current battle pass and look in the bottom left hand corner we can see that chapter three season two goes all the way through june 3rd now that's kind of interesting because june 3rd is a friday so is fortnite going to release season three on a saturday that's a bit different from previous trends but they've kind of been switching up when they release the new seasons so i guess that would make sense but either way we only have like a little over two weeks before the brand new battle pass now as for what's going to be inside of it we're expected to have pretty much the same exact stuff you know outfits pickaxes back blings gliders emotes all of those different things in the same format as season two nothing in the files points towards them switching up that type of stuff but there's definitely other things to point towards as well so like first things first here let's just jump into it with a skin that was recently revealed it is pretty Prisoner Jonesy. That's right. We've been wondering about this skin since we saw it all the way back at the end of chapter two within the event and that special cinematic that they had made. We got to see Jonesy in a prisoner outfit when he was taken captive by Dr. Sloan. There was also an instance that uh, Donald Mustard had drawn Jonesy as a prisoner. So we knew that we were going to get this skin eventually, but now the files for it are officially in game. What's also interesting about it is that it's an epic rarity skin, according to I fire monkey which to me doesn't seem like the type of rarity that it would be if it was in the item shop instead i feel like it would be a battle pass skin so we could definitely see like another variant of agent jones with different styles now oddly enough there's another skin that's sort of similar to this but we'll circle around back to that in just a second what i want to talk about are the star wars skins that are going to be in the battle pass as we know every battle pass has some sort of big collaboration recently like for example season two has dr strange before before that, we had Spider-Man, and this time around, it looks like Star Wars is going to be that big collaboration, at least one of the possibilities. We'll talk about the other ones soon, but fairly recently, Epic Games had done a live stream detailing the state of Unreal Engine 5. Now, during this live stream, they featured a little bit of Fortnite behind the scenes stuff, which then revealed some of the skins showing up in Season 3. Looking at this menu on one of the folders, you can see names for some peculiar stuff, like for example, right here, Chat. Chapter 3, Season 3, Vader. That's right, guys. And there's pretty much only one Vader we know about, Darth Vader. Now, again, we've talked a lot about Darth Vader. That info has been around for a little bit. That's why I want to jump into some of the other info with that. Like, for example, whatever happened to the skin that they hinted at towards the end of the cinematic for the lightsabers returning recently? You know, that whole skin? We thought it was going to release, and maybe it still will at the end of this season. But the current theory is that that is Obi-Wan Kenobi. So could we see see him inside of season three instead as a battle pass skin it's definitely a possibility so so far we know of darth vader obi-wan those are two pretty much confirmed skins but it doesn't just end there a little bit ago donald mustard we all know super well the creative director at epic games who loves to hint towards stuff happening in the future of fortnite he had put up a tweet that showed two star wars characters c-3po and chewbacca now most people would think maybe this doesn't mean anything but knowing him it has to mean something so we're very likely going to see C-3PO as well as Chewbacca either inside of the battle pass or maybe those would be more likely as item shop skins, especially if the season has like an overall Star Wars theme to it, which it's seemingly shaping up to have. But yeah, this is pretty much a hint towards that for sure. But on top of that, lightsaber pickaxes, Star Wars themed back blings, there's a lot that's going to be happening. But going back to that Unreal Engine development live stream, there were other things that were revealed as well 
well another one that was peculiar was chapter 3 season 3 jones could that be the skin that i mentioned earlier in the video definitely could be or is it indiana jones there's been talk about it actually being indiana jones but i'm not 100 sure i looked through there to see if there were other things pointing towards indiana jones and not just you know jonesy but i couldn't really tell and personally i think that especially if we have this other collaboration i'm going to be talking about later in the video indiana jones does seem fairly unlikely but you know what let's circle around back to some of the other stuff that was revealed during that live stream because there's some other skins that i really want to focus on here now as we've known in the past fortnite does these skin surveys of concepts where a lot of them are revealed early before they're actually added into the game like for example if we take a look through the current season's battle pass arisa i think that's how you pronounce it was actually one of those concepts in fact we talked about that exact one way back before the battle pass was even officially revealed now they did the same thing this season there's a lot of brand new concepts and some of them are pretty peculiar like for example this one right here i believe this one has been around for a while but the reason i want to talk about it is because it has two different styles and they are fairly different styles and the reason that's peculiar is because usually when they showcase that it's for a battle pass skin that has edit styles like again take a look at this season's battle pass specifically suki if we select that skin and go into edit style we have two very different variants they change up her hair they change up the clothes but those are the types of styles you see only in battle pass skins and that concept has a very similar vibe to it where it changes up the clothes and the hair so i'm 99 sure that is in fact a battle pass skin on top of that there's other ones like this one as well which just seems pretty cool so i'd like to see that as a battle pass skin similarly there is also this one right here which to me looks like i'm blanking on his name raz yeah raz that one also has like two different styles but since we've already had raz in the battle pass that wouldn't make much sense but then moving on here let's start to talk about that other collaboration that is also said to be happening during season three i am talking about the fortnite and marvel collab or like the second one because as you guys know all the way back in chapter two i think it was around season four we had that whole marvel season where we fought against galactus and we had all the marvel characters like iron man that was so much fun but there's been a lot of talk about brand new marvel skins returning and i mean just this season we had doctor strange but what other characters are we going to see well one of the most interesting crossovers has been the marvel and fortnite comic the zero war comic we've talked about this a bunch but there's even more new pages that just released recently like for example take a look at this one you can see so many different characters like you've got the foundation and the scientist but you've also got iron man flying around you got captain america thor at the top there's so many characters but what's interesting about this one specifically is only one of them hasn't been in fortnite and that is vision that's right guys vision now this is even more peculiar because we just saw the scarlet witch release in the item shop fairly recently they announced that skin and then dropped it sort of out of nowhere but now it seems to make a lot more sense is it a hint towards us getting vision inside of season three possibly as a part of the battle pass that would make a ton of sense on top of that though one of the earliest pages was this one right here where we saw a bunch of characters again that have already released in fortnite except for one and that is shuri we've talked about her in the past but she would make a perfect outfit especially with the spear she's seen with in one of the novels but then guys one of the final skins that was revealed during these comics is none other than miles morales yes miles morales this is another one we've talked about a bunch but we cannot deny how important this reveal is i mean again they had another comic cover that was spider-man and midas and then a variant of that had miles morales and meowsles and we've seen so much proof of miles morales being added into fortnite there's been so many rumors so many things on the map even pointing towards it we've got to be getting that skin soon and the season three battle pass would be perfect timing for when we could finally get it so i'm so excited for that i just want to finally be able to use that outfit but yeah guys let's keep it going here with another skin that i've been talking about for a while
file, but it's pretty peculiar. Recently, within the files, Fortnite added in a brand new variant for Paradigm, which is so intriguing, right? Why would they suddenly add this variant for Paradigm? And I think it's even maybe a completely separate skin, which is interesting. We could see it in the next Battle Pass, or maybe it's going to be like an NPC during Season 3. I mean, we've talked a ton about the event that's going to be happening, likely with Mecha Team Leader. Check out my previous video if you want more info on that. But having an entirely new outfit for Paradigm is so interesting. Like, why is that? If you guys have ideas, leave a comment down below. But we're forgetting about one type of skin that's always in the Battle Pass, and that is like the silly type skin. You know in the past how they've always had like a really out there design? Like, for example, Peely. I mean, he's one of the most out there designs ever. Although, oddly enough, we didn't get one this season in Season 2. Although, previously in Season 1 of Chapter 3, we had Lieutenant John Llama. And like before that, we've had Meow Souls, all of those types of skins. Well, this time around, going back to some of those concepts, we could see like, how about this one right here? A skin that is uh, a mouse? <laughs> it's a bit of an odd concept and honestly is kind of more cool than silly, but it still sort of fits the whole idea. On top of that, there's this one right here, which is just a bunch of plants, maybe potatoes. I'm a little bit confused, but that would fit in with the theme very well. Similarly, you've got like a teenager kit or meowsels. That one would be pretty perfect. And then finally, there's this one right here, which is just this skull dude with some very interesting clothing. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely make a very intriguing skin for the battle pass. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well as turn on notifications for more season three info coming up super soon. On top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos, such as going over a ton of details about the event and the trailer for it. But again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next one.